welcome back to my channel this is a tutorial on the look I'm wearing today it's a palette I recently just got and I loved it it's a little different for me it's a lot darker than my usual but it's for Valentine's Day so we are headed out and celebrating Valentine's Day a few days early but that's okay we're really excited to go have sushi if you want to see how I got this look just keep watching but don't forget to add me on all social medias that's glitter underscore mimosas on snapchat twitter and instagram keep watching so I'm gonna start by priming my eyelids using my favorite concealer of all times and that is the fit me concealer and now I'm gonna use the modern renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills which I'm very excited for this was my first time using it I'm just gonna go in with a really fluffy brush into my crease and build it up this is gonna take me quite some time going back and forth and building the color I want to make sure it's quite pink and very strong but at the same time I don't want any harsh edges so I'm gonna keep adding color and keep blending away I go between three different brushes the really fluffy one the black one the white one is a little less fluffy and a little bit more precise and then the flat one which is just to press in the color I'm gonna use just a regular makeup wipe and clean up my face because there was a little bit of fallout and I'm gonna sharpen the edges at the side and kind of create a very sharp line at the outside of my eye that's the face you make when you realize that you are applying moisturizer and you haven't put your lashes on so I'm using the Huda Beauty Lana lashes number 10 and I actually really liked them they were really sturdy and I just used my house of lashes glue to apply them and I let them dry completely before continuing on with my eyes so I'm gonna go in with primer and of course I'm using my two favorite primers which is the pore minimizer by makeup forever and the Too Faced hydrating one especially in the winter I need the extra hydration and now for my favorite foundation at the moment the hourglass stick foundation it is completely full coverage but I'm loving it and I do use a brush instead of a beauty blender I just feel that this works a little better with this foundation in particular I do use a foundation stick to clean up the top part of my eyebrows it just looks a little more natural than using concealer and I use a beauty blender just to press it in and make everything kind of smooth I'm gonna go in with the Tarte concealer and the fit me concealer and I'm gonna go really close to the outside just to make sure that I can sharpen and keep the line clean of my eyeshadow my Kat Von D contour palette is in pieces so this is just the setting powder which I really love so I'm gonna use it with a damp beauty blender and because I really wanted this to be full coverage I'm going in with the Giorgio Armani powder foundation and yes it is completely full coverage I don't wear this every day but I absolutely love it for special occasions I had to go back to my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette which is not my favorite but my Kat Von D one is like shattered and I'm trying out a new brush and I'm not sure how I feel about it I did use a really fluffy brush to kind of soften it because I did go a little harsh on the edges and now I'm gonna go in with my RCMA powder and a dampened beauty blender and I'm just gonna clean up under my eyes bake a little bit and clean up under my cheekbones While I let my face bake a little bit longer, I'm just going to go in with mascara and to just the top lashes at the moment and just blend them together. Now I'm going to go in with my brush and just take off the excess powder of my baking. I'm just going to go in with Milani blush and I just want to add a little bit of soft pink and give myself a flushed look. Going back into the palette, I'm just going to put a little bit of inner corner highlight and I grabbed a little fluffy brush. It's very precise but fluffy. And now I'm going to go back into the palette and mix the two colors I used. I'm going to start with the lighter color and just kind of blend that in the bottom lash line. And then closer to my actual lash line, I'm going to go in with the darker color. I'm going to tight line with the black and waterline with the purple color pop one. 
I'm gonna go in with the mascara on the bottom lash line and I'm gonna use the cover effects highlight and a dampened beauty blender I do use the back of my hand because I feel that it gives it the softest look and now I'm gonna go in with makeup geek and Kathleen lights highlighter palette and just use the middle middle shade and just set that on top to really sparkle I do like to highlight my nose and upper lip but that's just a matter of preference I caught my highlight and I was like woo I'm gonna use the Kat Von D bow and arrow on my lips it's very pale and nude but it was what I was looking for since my eyes were so bright and so kind of attention hoggers if you can say that I'm just gonna set my face using the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and just finish it off, let it dry, and we're good to go. I was very excited with how the look turned out, as you can tell, and I was so excited to have sushi. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you've had a great Valentine's. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!